Which cable is the best for instruments? Guitar, bass guitar, keyboards, you name it. You need to have a quarter inch cable that sounds good. And while I say microphone cables don't matter that much, besides maybe noise rejection and how they're built, how much they'll last, how long they'll last, um, guitar cable actually does matter. The quality of the copper, the purity of the copper really, and how it's built and its um, capacitance. All this affects how clear the cable is, how much um, high end you have. And there's two cables that I personally own that I'll recommend because I've heard time and time again that they're good cables. First up is the George L's pre-assembled cable. This comes in, I believe, around $38 I paid for it, maybe $30. It's a 12-foot cable. Uh, actually, it's a 15-foot cable. This is the George L's 225-gauge cable with gold straight plugs. It's blue, obviously, 15 feet. And um, this has been rated number one several times with several different you know magazines and other sources and just really the reviews on this thing are great and the only thing i don't really like about it the, the way the cable's made it's very thin so it tends to get in the way so maybe it wouldn't be that great for playing on stage or if you do plan to play it on stage you might you might want to just lay it across your floor wherever your biggest room is and make sure that that thing is not curled up like it is when it comes in the package. The other thing I like about this cable is that if you break it, it's very easy to reassemble. There's no soldering required or really needed at all, um, which is actually a pro and a con. But this cable, relatively inexpensive compared to some other brands, and it sounds good. My other cable that I own is the Mogami Platinum guitar cable. But again, you know, just because it says guitar cable doesn't, doesn't mean you can use it. You have to use it with other um, things besides guitar. You don't have to, is what I'm saying. This is a 12 foot cable. It's got a lifetime warranty. The George L's, I don't believe, have a lifetime warranty. I might be wrong about that. But, um, you know, this is a really good cable to have. And it's got a cool little Neutrik plug. If you look, if you can see it, actually, it's probably better shape from there. This red plug, you can plug it into your amp and it doesn't make a buzz or click or anything. It just, it's a silent plug. It's really pretty cool. And um, unfortunately, this cable is very expensive. The 12 foot cable, I believe I got for $112 or something. I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. So, um, it might not be in your budget range. <laughs> I had to save up for it. You know, I was tired of guys bringing in cheap ass cables and then we were having problems with them, you know, or they weren't clear or whatever. You know, I want to make sure that when I'm recording, I'm getting the best signal I can out of what, whatever guitar or whatever keyboard or what have you that I'm recording. And, you know, again, the reviews on this are good, but it's a very expensive cable. But, you know, I bought it once, and if it ever breaks, I can just send it back to Mogami, and they'll fix it, or, um, you know, they'll replace it. That's what I love about lifetime warranties. Um, there's a few other brands, but I don't have experience with those brands, so I really can't recommend them for sure. But again, this is a pretty hot, hotly debated topic, and, you know, in the grand scheme of things, does guitar cable matter? Yes and no. It's a subtle difference in some ways. And actually, you might want to use the cheap cable in some instances. Um, sometimes you might not want crystal clear sound. So again, does it matter? I'd say yes, it does. I wouldn't have spent $115 if I didn't think so. You know, and I got this cable because when I record direct, with a radial J48 box, which I'm going to review in a future video. I needed two good guitar cables. So this one goes first because it's higher rated 
than this one, believe it or not. And I already bought this cable before I got this one. I had never heard of the George L's until after I bought the Megami cable. And the Megami cables made me happy so far. And, um, you know, so really it doesn't matter which one I use, but for direct recording purposes, because my mixer tends to reduce the high end, um, the higher frequencies, I tend to use this cable first going into the DI and then this one running into the amp for a very, very clean signal. The other important thing is no matter what cable you buy, if you're planning on recording, use the shortest, shortest length you can. Um, a 40 foot guitar cable can have issues. So I bought, you know, one's 15 feet, the other one's 12. So that's a total is um, 27 feet of cable. Not too bad. You know, 27 feet if you include the, um, the DI box. Now going direct, it's only 15 or 12 feet. So, um, you know, whatever works best for you. But I think that these guitar cables are the top and they do matter. Microphone cable, not so much. But when it comes to guitar cable, for whatever reason, it matters. The quality does matter. Um, it's, you know, that's what I've read. That's what I've experienced. So this has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com.